Here is an interest code, and calculation of an interest code, it may resemble the concept of a cash scan, but the other way around. That means not only you owe me $1,000, not only I charge you 20 bucks for the second, 30 bucks for the third letter that I'm reminding you that you owe me $1,000, but for every day after the due date has passed, I'm going to charge you an interest. So you are responsible for that interest as well. So you could have as many as interest codes as you like and even charge the customer interest itself. Now again, depending on the type of business you're at, you're lucky enough to get your actual invoice amount on time or perhaps after negotiation. And you can ask for an interest, you can ask for a collection letter, but if the customer doesn't pay you, what are you going to do? I mean, you can go after them legally, but usually you're not in a business in a collection. You're in a business of collecting the money for the services you have provided. So you can always ask for it, but... The story of if they pay you or not, that's a different thing. But if you are in a bank industries or credit card company, that's where you make your money off of interest. And as a matter of fact, you don't mind if they pay you late because you're collecting interest. And as a matter of fact, the payment priority, if they give you certain bills and you pay for the first one, depending on the industry, maybe they apply that payment against the first one rather than the last one or vice versa. Let me give you an example. If you are dealing with the law firms, usually the business that the law firms are at, they give you like, let's say, five invoices and all five invoices are due. You send them a check for the last invoice. They apply it for the first one. That's the way most law firms work. But if you are dealing with a credit card company and you are three statements late and you send them a check for the first one not to be charged with literally the interest, the credit company applies that payment even though you send the full amount for the first one for the latest one. Why? Because they want you to be late so they can charge you interest. So it really depends on the interest. And you know what? Is in a free world, each company has their own policy and you have to just agree on those terms. Here, you can specify these interests and literally specify how it gets calculated. Alternatively, you could collect the customers into a pool and dictate and associate based on what pool of customers would you like to update their aging definition and to who or what collection agents would you like to assign these customer pools. These customer pools reflect to like grouping of the customer, like all the customers based on their lateness or tardiness in regard to the payment or based on their alphabetical listing of their names, like all the customers A to Z or whatever you like to make. And then finally, who is responsible to deal with those customer pools? We know there's a collection agents. 